Hello everyone, welcome to Legacy Ace Academy. Yesterday, a Swiss bank called as Credit Suisse, made sure the CEO of this bank held a press conference and said that the financial situation of this particular bank is very weak and this particular bank is about to go for insolvency, about a file for the insolvency. So in this video, we will be discussing about two important financial institutions that is one is Credit Suisse and the Duché of the Germany. Okay, so what is the context? Why are we even discussing this? You can see here, Credit Suisse and the Duché Bank are on the verge of collapse. Okay, we have discussed Credit Suisse is a important financial institution which provides all kind of financial management, like all round financial management, asset management, asset reconstruction, and also investment management. So all these things are done by a bank called a financial institution called as Credit Suisse. So you can see here in the news. Credit Suisse CEO seeks to calm the markets as default swaps climb. In this video, we will be discussing about what is this default swap. Okay, what is this default swap? So the context is that these two important financial institutions are at the verge of collapse. So what are these institutions? I've told you something about Credit Suisse already, which is a all-round financial manager. At the same time, at the same time, Duche is a one of the largest bank of Germany okay one of the largest bank of Germany see what is required to notice here is that the total assets you can see here the total asset of Duche is 1.38 trillion pounds at the same sorry euros 1.38 trillion euros at the same time the total assets of the credit Suisse is around you can see here 755 billion dollars okay 755 billion dollars so both these things combined it will be somewhere around 2 billion dollars okay 2 billion dollars is the asset worth of both these banks and this is expected to be three times than the Lehman Brothers bank which filed its insolvency which was the largest ever insolvency that was filed in the America in 2008 so we all have seen the effect of 2008 financial crisis and when this crisis happened, Lehman Brother, the bank which the asset of this particular Lehman Brothers bank was three times less than what the asset of Duche and Credit Suisse combined would be in the present day. Okay, so this is why this is a huge amount. Two billion dollars is the credit worth or the asset worth of these three these two banks combined, which is a huge money. So these particular, these particular two banks that we're discussing was considered as the systematically important financial institution, SIFI, and it is, they're called as too big to fail banks. Okay, they're also considered as global systematically important banks, which means one thing that we will have to understand from this point is that these two banks were very crucial, not only for the economy of America or the, not only for the, uh, for the economy of Europe, it was important for the entire economy of the world. So these banks were considered as too big to fail banks and these banks had a lot of asset and these banks had a lot of property and transactions. Okay, And these banks had a lot of trust. So when these banks are failing, these banks, the credit of these banks are at risk, then this indicates that the entire world economy is slowing down and the USA is, is at the verge of experiencing a depression. See, from the last two quarters, in the last two quarters, technically, USA has seen a contraction in the GDP. And technically, this means that USA is going through a recession. Okay, that's the definition of recession. If any economy goes through a contraction for the two consecutive quarters, then it is said to be recession. So in this manner, we can consider the US economy as in recession because of this. And this is one of the indication, this is one of the indication that the economic situation in the 2008 that is global financial crisis so this this situation can be recreated or this situation would repeat in the near future the combined asset base of these two banks in nearly 2 trillion which is three times the asset base of the Lehman brothers at the time of its collapse in the year 2008 this is what i've told you if you see these two are systematically important financial institutions or GSIB, GISBs. So what are the different other different institutions which are considered as globally, systematically very important and too big to fail banks? One is the HSBC, Bank of America, Bank of China. You can see the Duche here, okay, Goldman Sachs. And you can also see Credit Suisse, 
okay ing bank you can see the agricultural bank of china here so these are some of the important financial institutions which are considered as too big to fail banks okay so 2008 crisis the, the global financial crisis of the lehman brothers when the lehman brothers said and or the lehman brothers defaulted on its payment the entire asset of the lehman brothers was 239 billion dollars and the debt was 219 billion dollars and this is considered as the largest insolvency ever in the history of usa okay so such situation might start in the near future one thing that we can see here is the dwindling stock prices you can see from 2007 and 2008 financial crisis the stock prices of both these banks that is duche and the credit suits have been reducing they are continuously reducing so you can see here this was the effect of global financial crisis that happened in 2008 and this is where we have now one thing is clear from this graph is that in the last 12 to 13 years the stock prices of these two banks have seen a lot of fluctuation and also they are at their all time low one second inference that we can draw as the price reducing as the price is reducing from the last 10 to 12 years the promoters or the owners of these banks would have already taken back their money and now the entire stock price is dependent on the shareholders money okay this is the second inference that we can draw from this particular graph see when the, we have seen that the stock prices are at all time low but but there is credit default swap that is cds which is an all time high this is a concept that you will have to understand what is this credit default swap see it is very simple imagine two banks in india that is sbi or an individual a person called x okay so sbi has lent a loan to this particular person x which is somewhere around 100 rupees let's assume and sbi is not sure that this particular person will give back the money or not so sbi has also made an insurance for this particular 100 rupees if at all this person x or individual x fails to pay the 100 rupees back to the bank then this person who is having an insurance who is an insurance agent okay this person will provide money to sbi and the the cost of this transaction the cost of this this insurance let's assume it to be 1 rupee okay let's assume it to be 1 rupee and this is in the ideal situation when the economy is growing. This is the situation when the economy is, people are trusting the economy, people are investing in the economy. Now you can see here, the credit default swap is at its all time high. Okay, is at its all time high, which means the cost of this insurance from one rupee has increased to 10 rupees or 20 rupees. Okay, and the frequency of this insurance Probably if there were 100 transactions, in one transaction, SBI had, had, would have carried out this particular insurance. Now what's happening, the frequency of this transaction has also increased. The value of the insurance has increased and the frequency of the transaction has also increased. Both these have led to a situation where this something called as credit default swap has reached its all-time high. It's at very, very high. See, two important indicators. One is the stock prices of these two banks are at all-time low. At the same time, the credit default swap of these two banks are at all time high. This indicates that the people or the bank itself is not in a stable position. How will this impact the financial system? See now, if at all the credit suits defaults on its payments, now the, and then the credit suits has to come up with the insolvency and all the assets that we have seen of this particular financial institutions would be liquidated. When such assets are liquidated, when such assets are liquidated, this creates a domino effect in the economy and, and the prices of the assets would fall down. When the prices of the assets falls down, then the economy will stop functioning. This is what happens in the near future if at all the credit shoes finds an insolvency and starts selling off its assets. When it's selling off, when it is selling off its assets, okay, imagine the confidence of a depositor. Okay, a person who is holding a 
deposit account in this particular financial institutions he would come to bank and he would start demanding his deposits back okay this particular phenomena is called as bank run okay so this might happen in the near future this might happen in the near future and i've told you already the promoters of this bank would have already taken back the money and now the stock prices are just relying on the shareholders money when this news comes out then all of those who are holding the share share of this this particular institutions they would sell their stocks so and the share prices would also fall down and these banks are very important for the economy they are said to be financially too big to fail banks and if the stock prices of these banks fall then this will create a negative impression or the emotion amongst the investors in the equity market this will lead to the fall of equity or the share market both in europe and in america if the prices of these assets fall below a certain level the other banks too will have to start selling to avoid losses okay this is what is called as the domino effect or the ripple effect this massive deleveraging event will create a domino effect due to the mass selling and this economic crisis will spread from one market region from the to the another market region called as con contagion what to expect in the near future see this is not a situation that has never happened in the history in india also we had two important banks that is pnb punjab national bank and the s bank you all remember the nirav modi scam okay punjab national bank see even punjab national bank and the s bank were very crucial for the indian economy so what did the central bank do when such particular when this uh, incident happened the central bank stepped in and central bank bailed out these two banks and made sure that this will not be a domino effect and the indian economy will not be affected by the failure of pnb and s bank this is what the banks in the europe and america are expected to do now now as the does these financial institutions are failing the central banks of uh, the countries in the europe and america can come in and start bailing out these banks and this will create a panic in the financial system of course it will create a panic intervention by the central bank and the world economy slows down the investor sentiment will not be positive because of that the world economy would see a slow down so that's all for the day if you have liked the video please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends have a nice day thank you